Hello, Louise Singleton here. I've got a completely unplanned video for you now. Uh, completely unplanned. I'm in the middle of um, tidying out my art room and I can't, I've, I've got all these pictures that I know that I'll never try to sell um, because I'm just not happy with them. I've got this one which I've taken off the, um, it was on a, you know, the, the wood frame, it, it was a canvas and I thought, well, what am I going to do with that? I'm never going to um, sell it. I could paint, oh, I could do another pour over it, but I thought, hmm, there's part of it, parts of it that I like. If you look at, I don't know whether the light's shining on it too much, but there's areas of it that are really nice. I just didn't like it as a whole piece. Let me try and move that light. Hang on. Mm, I can't. Um, I'll try to change the angle. Yeah, there's parts of it that I, I do like. And so, yeah, what I did was I've ripped it off, literally ripped it off the wooden frame and I thought, why don't I cut it into pieces and just make something else out of it? Something that I, can be useful. I might not sell it, but I could give it to friends or whatever. Rather than just keeping on stacking away all those pictures that were okay, but just okay. So that's what I'm going to do. And if you're wondering why I've got my gloves on, it's absolutely nothing to do with the fact that my nails are a complete mess, absolutely not. I just thought, you know, don't want fingerprints on here. That's the story I'm going with. So here we go. So what I'm going to do is, I've just had a look through my stash of um, card um, envelopes and card bases. And I found, I found some old card bases that I had. And I thought, oh, how about, let me see, I can make, I could make two card fronts to stick on there, or maybe I could cut them in half and do thinner cards. So I'm going to look at what, which bits are like. I really like this bit here, I think, I'm going to make, uh, yeah, I'm going to make that into the front of a card. So I'll just fast forward now, because you, you know, it's all going to be double sided tape for a moment. And you can see how you can use your old canvases, dismantle them and make something useful. So I'll fast forward now. Um, the gloves got to come off now and you might have to just pretend you haven't seen the state of my hands okay. <laughs> oh dear I thought I could get away with it didn't I right let's quickly get rid of those that's the thing when you uh, when you're arty your nails are never in a good state and I've been I was sat there last night peeling off my <laughs> watching TV just peeling off my nail varnish and um, I didn't quite get all the fingers done and they're a bit mucky as well because I've just been cleaning in my craft room right okay Bad. I'm going to put that glove back on because I'm ashamed. Right, so all I'm going to do now, I've got all the tape sticking out the edges, but it doesn't matter because you'll see what I'm going to do. I've already trimmed this edge actually, just because I wanted to see how easily it would cut and it cut really easy. So I think I'm going to have this bit here. So I'm going to just put this down like this against that nice straight edge that I did. Give it a good rub. Uh, 
and then trim around the edge try not to trim any of the card off and there we have it I've made a greetings card and I could put, embellish this in some way if I wanted to but it's definitely a very quick and easy base and you know that canvas almost went in the bin I'll show you a better photo of it in a moment without the light shining on it and I've still got some left I've got this bit left so I think I'm going to make a pair of cards let's see if it fits I'll just fit that in and I could even make a couple of bookmarks with those leftover bits so I'll do the same again I'll fast forward Do you know what this one feels like it's an insert not a card that one felt like a card oh, no, maybe not do you know what these are quite flimsy and I hadn't realized I don't like flimsy cards I'll probably put some thicker card on the back same with this one not gonna waste it now if you know me you know I don't waste anything and the gloves coming off again Normally my videos are planned <laughs> and, uh, and I uh, make sure my nails are decent. Right. Who cares, eh? Hopefully you sat there saying, who cares? I don't care. I hope so. I hope you're, not, you're thinking that and you're not thinking anything terrible. Right, I do apologise about whittering on. You didn't tune in to listen to me whittering on, did you? Right, let's try. Which bit do I like? Mm, how do you decide? I think I'm going with this bit. We had a little lump there, which was another reason why I knew that I wouldn't use this um, picture when it was on the canvas because it had got a big lump in it and it's so annoying when that happens or if you get a hair or something and you don't realize until it's cured but now I've discovered a remedy where was it there I don't want that Put this. yeah Give it a good rub again. We've got two cards in how many minutes? Five minutes, something like that. Oh, I like that one. I will be showing you the photos just as soon as I finished because my silly light's shining on it. But yeah, I'm happy with that one. And what have I got left? Can't waste a single bit. I'm going to make bookmarks now. Yeah. Because I like that little bit there. And, there. and I've got my super duper ruler, which is probably about the right thickness, I think. I want the middle bit though, so I'm going to have to cut both sides. I'm going to go about there. So, one, two. So, hopefully, this has given you an idea for some of those canvases you've got tucked away, wasting space in your rooms instead of just saving them forever just in case or just because you can't bear to throw them out because you don't want to waste it now you know what to do with it 
so I'll embellish that in some way before I take the photograph off camera I'll just embellish it and oh I need to stick it to some card as well oh, getting carried away with myself and there's my phone and there's another one I'll stick it to some card off camera because you don't want to keep watching me do that two bookmarks and embellish them now with something maybe some ink around the edges and then I'll take a photograph what do you think so that was my quick impromptu video right I will be back with the photographs Right, so here we have the photographs and you can see the detail a lot better now. What I've done is I got a silver ink pad and just brushed it on the edges of everything just to uh, give it a little bit of definition around the edges and to make it look a little bit more finished somehow. And I really like it with the silver around the edges. So I hope you enjoyed this impromptu video. I hope it was okay. I do apologise for waffling on about things you probably didn't want to know about but that's what happens when you catch me in the middle of <laughs> doing something and not planning properly how unprofessional but anyway if you did enjoy it please don't forget to give it the thumbs up and if you liked what you see and you haven't already subscribed please do and I will see you next time for a more professional and planned video bye for now